you can debate um, someone else's pricing structure and whether it is fair or not, or gouging or not, or transparent or not. And I guess that's an interesting backyard deck debate to have on your <laughs> to have on your day off on Memorial yeah, the barbecue, right? Yeah, but but um, it gets in your way first of all of learning and understanding anything that's useful to you, right? And second of all, uh, it doesn't help you to be angry at them. You know, one of my business questions is, um, um, it's like a sign on the wall, is where's the profit in that? Because as much as possible, I'd rather not waste my time and my energy on things, on people, in places where there's no profit. Sure. All, all the way to, I like to watch television, but I like to watch TV that I might get something from in addition to entertainment that I could use rather than just entertainment, right? So I, I understand people being mad about it. And by the way, that exists in every business too, okay? So if you go into a room full of, psychologist uh, you only need to say dr phil and everybody <laughs> i'm serious and everybody you. will set themselves on fire telling you what a fat fraud he is and uh, they're a better psychologist than he is and, and, and right. or if you don't want to say dr phil say tony robbins you'll get the same reaction sure sure, the sure. Room will set themselves on fire okay and it exists in every business locally regionally and nationally right but mm -hmm. if you're getting your ass kicked by somebody like that the first thing to do is figure out why right. and and figure out what you can learn from that that you can apply all these years later if you go in a room full of magicians and you say houdini they all want to tell you that he really wasn't a very good magician Okay. But so what? Right? He's why not? Him. Why not look at what he did, other than being a mediocre magician, to make himself the number one magician and the richest magician in the history of magic? Why not look at that, right? Mm -hmm. And say, okay, maybe tweaked for different ethics. Or different, I can use that. Right? Well, and it's it, you know, it's the the ethical part of that's interesting because it's like you could still learn plenty from USAA. I mean, there's there's a master class in marketing there alone. Veterans United is a, a, another great example. It's like you could completely use and leverage the same strategies they're doing, and then that affords you the privilege of price elasticity should you choose to raise rates doesn't mean you have to, but it's a nice thing to be afforded, right? It's like, it's a nice place to have that leverage and control to be able to, should you want to. Yeah. So, well, yeah. And look, value. So you have to get past in order to have fee elasticity in a profession, you have to get past the idea that all the value is just in the deliverable because the value for the consumer, for the customer, is much more complicated than that. Okay? Um, so customers um, want to feel good about the decision that they've made, to feel secure about a decision they've made, to feel affinity with a group or an organization that shares their values uh, or in some way supports um, something they support. Um, they, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So that value to them is worth money. So any of us who charge premium fees for 
our expertise and our time and our care on top of the core deliverable that we provide are not you, you are not ripping people off we are delivering a package of value that is important to our customer or our client or our patient so like uh 40% of um of necessary uh drug prescriptions um uh, don't get filled roughly half of that is money but half of that is not it's that those doctors didn't have enough authority with their patients that they wow. went and filled them right? one answer to that is to be a different a doctor that's difficult to get to uh and difficult to convince to be your doctor and who charges more money okay? so in every business there's a there's a price fee, you know, sort of range, right? I mean, purely on a utilitarian basis, if everybody bought and everything was sold based on its utility basis, its actual deliverable, okay, then the only car on the road would be a Kia. Okay? Well, I'm serious. There'd right. be no justification to have any other car, okay? And uh, everybody would shop at Walmart, um, et cetera, et cetera, right? Just, so you're saying essentially stripping away the perceived status and, and all of those ancillary things. It's If it was just the bear, this is, it's, it gets me from A to B, the yeah. only relevant vehicle is the cheapest. Yeah, sure. Yeah. And so that's why, that's why like the internet has, is such a, uh, a a great God that giveth and a great God that taketh away. Uh, right. Because on the taketh away side, it enormously facilitates commoditization, mm -hmm. right? And it forces everybody to get smarter if they're going to prosper. Just mm -hmm. think of being a retailer. You think you got problems. <laughs> right? I mean, seriously, let's say you got a Williams Sonoma store that sells all sorts of stuff for the kitchen and for cooks. Well, people go in, they get something demoed to them. They're interested in it. Sonoma Williams made them interested in it, educated them about it. And then they take their phone and they photograph the barcode on the box and up comes five different places you could buy it at five different prices. Nine out of 10 times, Amazon is the winner. Okay? Right. So, so, so think about that cheery position to be in, hmm. right? So you're delivering all the extra value. And then the damn consumer is running off and buying it from, it's like having a watch store and getting every got you getting you interested in a real expensive watch, and then you run and buy it from a guy in the alley, right? That's the, that's now the retail problem of the industry, mm -hmm. and some figure out what to do about that. Williams and Sonoma has, uh, others do not figure out what to do about that, and 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 there's a there's a technical business term for them, gone. <laughs> So, um, I love it.